The classic horror film Phantasm from 1979 brought to the world the joy of Don Coscarelli's Gonzo directing and also the terrifying visage of the tall man. And since it had such an impact to me as a kid, I've always wondered what the hell were those two crazy cats like? So when I talked to Phantasm's Reggie Bannister, I had to ask him. And that's coming up on Hero Journalism. When I found Phantasm by stumbling through a video rental store's horror section at the age of 13, when I saw the movie, one of the first images that was seared into my mind was that of the dark and ominous tall man played by Angus Scrimm. In following years, I would come to love the dark and ominous men working their evil in the shadows in film and television, but back then, Phantasm was the first. And I also loved Don Coscarelli's directing style, and so I followed him out of the Phantasm franchise to his other work. But the guy always seemed a little bit mysterious. I never even knew if I was pronouncing his name right. Is it Don Coscarelli or Coscarelli? Don Coscarelli. Coscarelli, got it. I knew Reggie would be a great resource to tell me a little more about who these guys were, so when I interviewed him at San Diego Comic-Con 2018, I was sure to set some time aside so he could tell me all about the tall man and the great Don Coscarelli. What is he like? Yeah. He's like one of my best friends, (laughs) for one thing. Um, You know, you can't work on five projects together um, and, and not become pretty good friends. And uh, actually, more than that, because uh, it was uh, seven, uh, counting uh, Kenny and Company and Jim, the world's greatest. Uh, so, yeah, we were just we were like partners in crime, you know, uh, and we were good at it. So uh, that was a lot of fun. It was just you know like uh, any creative thing, you know, uh, and and you're in it with somebody. And I was, I was in all these creative projects with him. Uh, it was really a trip. Now i got to ask about the dark entity himself, Angus Scrim. Boy. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Angus uh, was the best. Uh, he was... Uh, he started off acting way long time ago before Phantasm um, and uh, as a matter of fact he has one little short film that I think you can still see on the internet somewhere but he, he played uh, Abraham Lincoln uh, driving a carriage yeah? and uh, and he was great <laughs> and uh, you know he would uh, you know, we became fast friends uh, and it was kind of a trip because he, he would always, he would get so into his character that I, I, I found out I couldn't actually be around him much in between shots and stuff, because he was ruminating, you know. You know. And, <laughs> and, uh, and, and he was just, he was awesome. And because by the time we would, you know, were in front of the cameras, he was the tall man. And, uh, you know, scenes. I, I think I only had one scene really with him where we're, we're like face to face. Well, it was more actually like I was nose to chin, <laughs> and, <laughs> and he was like that. <laughs> Is he English? Uh, how did he get involved? Who? Angus? Is oh, he English? Uh, yeah. Um, no. Now, i got to break in here because I'll admit, in all my research on horror films, it had escaped me that Angus Scrimm was a Yankee. Okay, let's just check this out and find out for... Oh my god, he was born in Kansas City? What the hell? I thought for sure I detected some European hints in his accent. But Bannister confirmed I wasn't dumb for thinking so. It was indeed part of Scrimm's delivery. No. Oh, really? No. Uh, he... It was a theatrical accent and because you know he was raised up in in theater and film at a completely different you know time and so you know he developed this well I must tell you I can see you very clearly you know he just developed that that accent or that dialect or whatever and um, 
and he kept it, and it just became part of his personality and persona. What an amazing twist of events to have this, uh, that, that I, I think that that theater approach that he did really just kind of grounded his evilness. I loved it. Well, it really did. It really did. It, it set him apart, you know, and not to mention the acting and the tremendous vibes uh, that he put out. Um, yeah, it was, it was just amazing. He was amazing, amazing guy, and one of the nicest guys I've ever known. So there you have it, a loving remembrance of director Don Coscarelli and the late Angus Scrimm, who really lived the character, playing the tall man up to his death in 2016, just months before Phantasm Ravager came out. He was 89. We've got more about the franchise that made Angus Scrimm famous, as well as more movie and horror history coming out this month. See you here next time.